you can define a really good solid growth strategy, but do people really understand how they individually and as teams contribute to that strategy? The one thing which is common across all the seven drivers points us back towards investing in, in people. It's through investing in people that we're able to basically drive the seven drivers of growth. We innovate a lot. We let our people to start their own businesses. All of them, they are small entrepreneurs. We try to motivate people to understand what challenges they are facing and associate them to the biggest decisions of the company. There's one bit of due diligence which people actually are only just getting hold of, which is cultural due diligence. Doing good cultural due diligence in terms of how well the businesses fit together, the people fit together, can probably have a bigger impact on the outcome of a transaction than financial and operational. We've learned today it's a total war out there on attracting talent and most important, retaining talent. Most importantly for us is to ensure that our staff really do feel that we are a family, to actually bring them in and really look at them as stakeholders in our business rather than just people who are being paid to work for us. Really invest in them. It helped me a lot to realize that I have to prepare a plan for people, how they can develop, and to encourage a lot entrepreneurial thinking and to let them make mistakes and even celebrate mistakes because without mistakes we cannot experiment new things. It reminded me again how important it to be the employer of choice and how uh, this can be such a valuable advantage on the market, especially now that it's so hard to recruit and to retain quality people. Attracting the right talent is going to be key. Uh, so that war for talent is really on, it's out there. Uh, make sure you have a strong brand around your business as an employer.